us how you found out she had cancer. Well, I just happened to be fibbling around one day and I felt this little lump in my breast. But I didn't think too much of it at the time because I've already had two cysts in that area. So they, they weren't cancerous. So I really didn't think a lot of it at first. But when I went to get the mammogram, it showed something on the mammogram. Then they wanted me to get a sonogram. Showed something on the sonogram. Then I had to get a biopsy, which I was really in pain with that biopsy. I thought I was going to have a seizure. But then it definitely was told that I had cancer. story so before we get into this video this is the most important story that I think I've ever told you guys and also I want to let you guys know this is a collab me and impeccably rookie came up with the idea that we share in common both of our moms have cancer they're both cancer survivors so I'm gonna give my take on my mom's story and she'll give a take on her story her information will be in the description box so make sure to check her out I also have a few requests as usual before we get into this video for one I want to say happy Friday you guys secondly uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel like what are you waiting on you're cool I'm cool you will definitely fit up in here Secondly, like this video. I mean, I'm giving you the facts, like personal facts about my mom and this, this situation, this struggle that we have overcame. So what is there not to like? Thirdly, I would love for you to leave me an inspirational comment. I know you guys got love for me and I got love for you too. So let's get at it. So the two topics we really decided to come up with because uh, I mean I can go on and on and on about the, the situation but I think the two ones we came up with was how did we take the news so for me personally when my mom was diagnosed first of all she was diagnosed with stage 3 invasive ductal cancer so that is a form of breast cancer there's many forms and that's the one she had and stage 3 is like not good so I cried. I mean, I was definitely, you think about death, you think about, you know, wanting to spend more time, you think about what you could have, should have done, um, what could have prevented this. Um, my mom's reaction was a bit different. I feel like she stressed out more before she knew um, because she definitely as um, I think I've mentioned before she definitely felt something was wrong so she was more stressed then once she found out what it was I feel like she had a calmness about her uh, I definitely believe that was that was God that was that was straight up Jehovah right there so the rest of the family my kids it was like they didn't know anything I don't think they understand the grips of what cancer is enough to be I want to say emotional all they did know is they weren't able to interact with her the way they wanted to so my husband his reaction was just to be there for me I can't even lie he was but he has been very supportive he literally was like our chauffeur -er. he took us all around anywhere we needed to go um, okay so that was basically the reaction that was going on it's, it's even odd because it even affected like my, my brother, he was super emotional about the whole situation, but it even affected, like, the cat. How odd it sounds. Like, like I don't know, animals sense something's wrong, so, like, the cat was, like, glued to her hip. Everywhere she went, the cat wanted to come. Here, look, the cat fits up in here. <laughs> Tigger, I mean, Tigger. Crabba. Crabba cake. Look. <clears throat> okay, well. He fits up in there. <laughs> but, I mean, evidently it made her hair fall out. It made her nails black. It made her lose tremendous amount of weight. But more importantly, it kept her in the emergency room. Her white blood cell count went down all the time. 
Um, then there's the surgery. After she finished the chemo, she had to do four dosages of chemo, which sounds like not a lot, but chemo is so strong, it feels like double the dosage. Okay, so then moving along for the surgery, that was probably the easiest part about everything because your sleep, and I mean, it looks different, like of course with the chest area, is it, it appears different. She had a, not a mastectomy, if I'm saying it correctly, but it's like a partial mastectomy. So she had a portion of her breast removed and a portion of her lymph nodes because the cancer had spread it um, tremendously. So after the surgery, now, right now we're in radiation which radiation is every day and that's the most frustrating thing about it all radiation is pretty simple it's just she literally has to go to the radiologist every single day it's 20 minutes a day um the only time she gets off is weekends so it's just getting yourself dressed you know what i mean she's just gaining her strength back so she she literally hates radiation <laughs> um and I, i'm not a big fan of it either <laughs> okay so yeah, and like right now, they don't see anything that suggests that she still has cancer. So as it stands right now, she is cancer free. So my my words of, of wisdom to anyone is if you feel something's wrong, you should first and foremost regularly check yourself out. Um, you don't have to wait to go to a doctor to examine your breasts. If you feel something's wrong, if you feel a lump, don't dismiss it because I feel like when she first told me about it I I, I did kind of you know I, I just assumed everything would be okay but the wise thing would be to get yourself checked out the thing about cancer is it can be easily prevent not prevented I'm sorry it can be easily diagnosed if it's diagnosed soon enough so I urge not not just with breast cancer in general if you feel something wrong with your body if you if you're noticing some change in your body that suggests that something could seriously be wrong please go and get yourself checked out and definitely do regular physicals that's something I gotta work on myself I think I'm young y'all but I mean now I'm 31 I need to regularly have a um like a normal physician that I see on a regular basis instead of just skipping around from doctor and to doctor, hospital to hospital. So, all right, ladies, gents, whoever, stay strong.